Hey guys, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. Um, in a previous lesson, I taught you how to connect your iPad to your projector using the app called Reflector. Um, I know that uh, not all of you are going to want to connect it that way, and so some of you have asked already, how do I connect it using my Apple TV? So, today I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the Apple TV, really, really simple little box, and it comes with two cords. One of the cords, of course, is the power cord, and the other one is the HDMI cable. So, this is the HDMI cable. Uh, you might recognize the end of it if you have a, a similar TV or something like that. And in fact, I actually do not have an HDMI projector, but if this is the way you're trying to do it, make sure that you have an HDMI projector. Today I'm going to use a TV that I have uh, that does have an HDMI input, and uh, it'll be basically the same concept. So let's take a look. On the back of your TV, you can usually see something like this. Sometimes the port is on the side of the TV, so go ahead and look around. But all I'm going to do is plug in the HDMI cable right into the port, and we're ready to go. Hey guys, I'm sorry for the uh, shakiness of the camera right now. I'm working in pretty tight quarters and uh, don't have anyone to assist me, but I think we'll get through it. Um, so right now I've got my TV on and my Apple TV down below. You have to make sure that your input is correct. Uh, so usually there's an input button on your remote control or on your TV itself. So I happen to know that mine is here on the left hand side at the bottom. So I'm going to go choose the one that says HDMI right there. And now I can see my Apple TV showing up on the television. In your case, hopefully in the classroom, it'll be on the projector. The final step is making sure that your iPad and your Apple TV are on the same network. So on your Apple TV, you're going to go into the settings, and if you're at a school, you're probably going to just have the one network, but be careful because you might have multiple ones. Your IT department should be able to help you get on. Then you're going to take your iPad, just like this, and really simple. Make sure, you're, again, you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Then you double-click the home button, you get your little menu in the bottom, slide this way, and you can see right here I've got the little arrow display logo. Click on that, and here I've got my option for AirPlay. So I can either play to my iPad, which this is the iPad, so I want to click to the Apple TV, and then I want to turn the mirroring on. Just like that, I am showing you the same thing that everybody else can see. So now I can show everything that I want directly on my projector on the screen or however you choose to use it. All right, you guys, so that wraps up the second tutorial on how to turn your iPad into a smart board. Um, make sure that you go back and look at the first one. You want to look at all your different options. Of course, there is the very simple option of plugging it in directly with a cable as well, but uh, these are the wireless options so that you can walk around the classroom. Thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, I'm all over the internet, so make sure you're following me. If you're on Twitter, you can find me at EdTechPrincipal. Um, if you're on YouTube, and this is where you're watching this video right now probably, um, I can be found at youtube.com slash user slash edtechprincipal. And, of course, on Facebook, I am available over at uh, facebook.com slash edtech.tv. So please follow me, like me, uh, ask questions wherever you can find it, um, and I am tracking it, and I will get back to you. Thanks a lot so much for your time. I really hope this helps you out, and, um, yeah, feel free to ask me questions, and I will get back to you. Thanks.